Hello friends. Today I am going to teach you how to make checks pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Also at the end of this video, you will be able to achieve weave effect texture. So let's start. Suppose we have to create something like this check pattern. As you can see the shirt is not exactly at 90 degree angle. So I will press Ctrl R in the keyboard to get the ruler. Drag the guideline from the ruler. Adjust the angle of the image. Now go to control bar and click crop to crop the image. Press done. Your image will get cropped. Select the guideline and delete it. Now let's extract the similar color from this checks. Make a small rectangle. Use eyedropper tool to pick the color. Press Alt and drag to make multiple copies of it. Try to pick all the color from the image file. For now, I can see only three colors in this checks. So I will delete the rest of the rectangle. Now, open swatches. Select the first rectangle with fill on top and click on new swatch icon. Change the color type to spot color. Press OK. All the three colors are ready in the swatch box. So now, there is no use of these rectangle color box, so I will delete it. I need to crop it little more from down. Now I will use the rectangle tool and I will make sure there is no stroke color. So I will start with the navy stripe. Zoom and work. Now, press Alt and drag to make a copy and place it next to the first one. Use direct selection tool to increase the width of the second stripe. We just need to achieve all the stripe design as in the swatch, which comes inside one repeat. Try to use the colors which we picked from the original image. Match it with the image file. I forgot to add white color in the swatch box, but we already have white in default color. Remember, for white color use white rectangle, don't leave it blank. Let's fast forward it, as it is going to take some time. I think I completed it. You need to complete one repeat. Since the navy color is repeating again from the start and the end, I will delete the last one. Time to test the repeat. Select all and place a copy at the end to see if the pattern is complete.
Looks good. At this stage, I am going to show you the use of Align tool. Let's disturb the rectangle by creating gap and some of them overlapped. Now go to Window and open Align Tool. In the Align Tool box, if you can't see all the tools, click on the triple line at right top corner and then click Show Options. Now select all the rectangles. Then single click on the first one. You will see the first rectangle is highlighted more than the other one. Now go to the Align Tool and find Horizontal Distribute Space icon and click it. All the rectangle will be auto-arranged and sticked with the first one with no overlap and no gap. Let's group it all. Our one repeat of the checks in warp direction is ready. We need to make the stripes into a square. Now go to transform on the control bar. And click the link icon here to individually change the width and height value. You will find W and H value which is width and height. Copy the width value and paste it in the height value. Then press enter in the keyboard. Cross check again if the W and H value is same. We need to make a copy of this stripe on top of it. Go to edit and copy it. Then click paste in front. Rotate the top layer by 90 degree. Then, from control bar, reduce the opacity of the top layer by 50%. You will find one repeat box of checks pattern is ready. Now select all. Drag and drop it into swatch box. You will find a new check swatch is created. Let's test it. Make a rectangle. Make sure that the fill is on the top and click on the new swatch. Our check seamless pattern is ready. But this does not have the weave texture. I have given the weave texture file in the description of this video. Download it. Go to file and click place. Locate the downloaded file and place it. Click Embedded from Control Bar. Since we already have the width and height value copied, go to Transform and paste it in both W and H. In short, make this texture in same size of the pattern design. Now place it on top of the pattern. Select all and use align tool from control bar to align it perfectly. Now select all and drag and drop it into the swatch box. You will find the new checks pattern with texture is added in the swatch window. So, let's test it. Make a rectangle and click on the new swatch file.
Zoom it and check if you have got the weave effect. Perfect. If you feel the color is slightly dull, then reduce the opacity of the texture layer little bit. Then, drag and drop back to the swatch box. Apply it. Zoom it and check. Perfect. I hope you like this video. Kindly like and subscribe this video if it's helpful. Thank you.